Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the Dubsado client portal. I love this feature of Dubsado and it's not something that I've always used with my clients, but I've also used it as a client with other contractors and I think it is such a cool feature that you can use. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I also like to teach people how to run successful businesses as creative entrepreneurs. So let's dive in. I think a big part of this is having a good client management system. So I've researched a ton of different systems, all the popular ones in this space, and I have a whole playlist for you if you want to check out some other ones. Um, today we're going to focus on Dubsado. This is the one that I personally use for my business, and I do have a code. I'm a certified Dubsado specialist, so I have a code that gets you 30% off um, if you want to check that out in the description of this video. They also have um, a free trial that gives you three clients. It doesn't have any time limit on it. So I think that's a good way to dip your toe in, um, get your form set up and not be rushed for time. So you can really figure out what client management systems are all about. So today we'll focus on the portal feature, which is kind of a place that your clients can log in and see everything for their projects. I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit from a client's perspective. First, we're going to go into settings and portal. And you can edit kind of the overarching settings for your portal. So basically welcome message, or you can hide that, um, where their projects is. You can do projects, but if you use a different terminology with your clients, you can change that, change a logo here. You have a banner, um, and you can change your colors as well. This will also give you the link. Any client with a portal can go into this link and then you can also embed it. So if you want on your website for there to be even a navigation tab or somewhere that clients can always log into their portal and view their information. You can put that here, um, use that embed code and it will give them a client, you know, you can put client login at the top and it makes them feel really special. <laughs> I really love the portal because it just customizes everything. So then when you go into a project, um, the client portal will not automatically be active. You'll go down to this portal section and you can activate it for them. You can also set a password. So I can just set the password to be their name, Jim and Pam, whatever. Um, I'm an invitation designer, so I would do it maybe their wedding day or something like that. And then when you have your portal activated, you can send them instructions to log in and you can also check, check out what it looks like from a client perspective. And then I'm just, before I show you what that looks like, I'm just going to add a few um, different things, different forms in here and um, apply to portal. Whenever you send a form, if you send it, it will send via email and then that will automatically be in the portal as well. But you can do things where, you know, maybe you have a PDF that you upload. Um, you can do a one time upload new PDF as a form. You could put your pricing guide, your process guide, some resource for them apply it to the portal. You don't need to send them an email about it. And then when they log in, it'll be there. I'm also going to just include a contract here and apply it to the portal as well. And then they already have this invoice for $15 that I created for another video. So we've got a few things in here. You can also do appointments, a few other things. Um, so I'm going to view the portal. And when they go into it, they'll need to use uh, their password or potentially their email to log into it. If it doesn't have a password, that's okay. Um, the password that I set was Jim and Pam. Hopefully I typed that right. There we go. Um, so your client portal, this is where your banner will be. You can make that whatever you want. Um, and then anything that they have will be in here. If they have multiple projects, under that same client, you, they'll be able to select here if they want to view some old projects and see what they've got there. Um, unread emails, incomplete forms. So this is a great place to show them, hey, what's going on? What do we have to do? <laughs> All the emails that you've sent, that they've sent back to you, their end of auto will be here. One note on the emails is if you um, if they send you an email to your inbox and you reply there or you reply um from an, if you send them an email directly from their inbox and then they reply there, that might not come into Dubsado. So it might not be in here. So they can go into this invoice and from here they can choose to go ahead and pay it. Um, I can't because I'm the client <laughs> or I'm not the client. <laughs> Any kind of form. So if we have this little proof form, I can go in here and I can be like, oh, I'm aware that this is good. Oh, I like option one and I've approved this. And then you can go in and sign it. I only have the option to countersign because I am not the client. <laughs> 
So the portal is really great. Um, you can update the appearance of all this, and, but the basic structure is going to be the same. And then anything that you add into uh, their project and apply to portal or send to them, either one will go there. And one thing that's really cool is when you get into workflows, which I have a whole other video on this, um, but these are kind of automating different things within your process. So if you go to add an action, you'll see some portal based actions. So activate portal and deactivate portal. These are things that you can just build into your workflow. And then you can also send a portal as, um, let's see, let's do an email. You can send the portal link as a smart field. So if you send an email to them after their contract is signed, you can say, hey, welcome to Design by Laney. I'm so excited to work with you. Here are the next steps. Here's a blog post that will help you figure out how to word your invitations. Um, and I've got this portal that you're always going to look for. And like, here's your link to it. And here's your password. And these will automatically fill in whatever portal link and password fits for that client. As long as you use those smart fields, I wouldn't recommend typing these. Um, so you can put in the email and build that into your workflow anywhere you want. You can also use these smart fields in any manual email that you send as well. But I think it's just especially cool that you can add that into your workflow. So an onboarding email is a great place to include the information about the portal. So they always have that. They know where to go. They can go ahead and bookmark it. Um, and then that's where they'll be able to find their invoices, contracts, all the forms that they need to fill out, any proofs that you've sent them, etc. So let me know what questions you have about the Auto portals. Um, if you use it, let me know because I'm curious how people in other industries outside of wedding stationery use the portal to interact with their clients. And if you'd like to test out Dubsado, you can get your free trial and then 30% off your first month or year um, using my code designed by Lainey or the link in the description of this video. Check out some of our other videos while you're here, especially the CMS playlist, which will go through a bunch of other Dubsado features, as well as some of the other platforms in case you're still uh, deciding which platform is right for you. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.